hope you all are doing good. Today I'm going to teach about performance analytics formula indicators. Okay, so our agenda is what is formula indicator? How, how we will build formula indicators? Okay, and uh, a practical demo. Okay, so I will show you a live example like how to create a formula indicators and uh, what all the func parameters we can use in the formula indicators. Okay, so what is formula indicator? A formula indicator use existing indicators to calculate new metrics and offer deeper insights into the performance of your uh, business process. Okay, so formula indicator is nothing but it. Uh, so we need to build some formulas with existing indicators. For example, percentile of new critical incidents. Okay, new incidents with critical priority. Okay, so you will get one new indicator, one indicator called new incidents with critical priority, and by uh, all incidents, all new incidents, okay? And then we need to uh, multiply with uh, 100, okay? Then you will get a um, uh, percentile of a uh, new critical incidents, okay? So we will, sh we will see this example as well and also as a new example, okay? So uh, the out-of-box examples and uh, we will create some new uh, formula indicators also, okay? Let's see. Into your instance, Okay, log into your instance. So to go to the formula indicators, um, under performance analytics, so our, we have favorited performance analytics. So under performance analytics, you have formula indicators. Okay, so these are all out of the box formula indicators, which, uh, which it is built in, okay, in service now, which is created by. So let's see, uh, in our example, we discussed about percentile of a new critical incidents. Okay, uh, so let's see, where is the percentile of a new incident? Okay, uh, 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 critical incidents, right, okay. So here is the percentile of a new critical incident. Okay, so open this formula indicator. So you can see the formula indicator is same. Okay, the unit is percentile. Okay, key key indicator. This key indicator is nothing but in the analytic hub. Uh, when you filter with key indicators, it will show as the key indicator. Okay, so here it calculates. So see number of uh, new incidents priority okay one critical okay by number of new incidents so this this is uh, one uh, number of new incidents is a uh, one um, indicator okay out of the box indicator we have okay so contributing indicator is a uh, number of new incidents okay but here you can see number of new incidents uh, with the priority is one critical so how you got this indicator we don't have this indicator but how we calculated this one okay uh, how okay so for example uh, the same indicator okay uh, I will try to create a new uh, uh, new indicator, new formula indicator with the same formula. Let's see how we will create it, okay? So I will go again back and go to uh, formula indicators. I will open the new tab and uh, click on new, click on new. So you can um, duplicate of uh, percentile of um, new critical, critical incidents okay so yeah new critical incidents or low incidents or high incidents anything whatever you want so unit is percentile okay so you want in percentile okay so just go here and select a percentile okay so you want 0.5 or 0.22 or something Okay, so you can have this share. Okay, key indicator. Key indicator is nothing but in analytic hub. Uh, if you are going to analytics hub, okay, 
So in the analytics hub, so there is a dot is a key indicator, right? To represent your OR indicator is a key indicator, then you can uh, mark as key, okay? So here in the formula indicator, how we will calculate the formula. So how browse for a method, browse for an indicator, okay? So browse for an indicator. So you need to browse for an indicator, okay? So our indicator is a new number of new incidents. Okay, number of new incidents. So what is the breakdown we are using here? We are using by priority. Okay, uh, what is the uh, element we are using? We are using a critical element. Okay, priority is one. Okay, so unselect it. So you got this number of new incidents. Okay, priority one by. Okay, now browse for an indicator. Uh, number of a uh, new incident. Okay, number of new incidents. Okay, now you, you should not select any breakdown because we are already using a priority breakdown. Okay, number of new incidents. Okay, then whole, uh, then, then open braces, unclose braces. You enter and multiply, multiply with 100. Okay, so then that's it. This is a formula indicator. That's nothing but you have. You should know what formula you need to use. Okay, and which indicators you need to use. That's it. Okay, so see the same thing here. Okay, here into 100. Okay, and that's all. Nothing else. Okay, and coming down here, uh, it is like publish on Analytics Hub. If you want to show in the Analytics Hub, okay, you can have to click on publish on Analytics Hub. Okay, and other uh, this we will uh, learn uh, coming to soon. Okay, so yeah, so then and uh, save it, save it. That's it. Okay, uh, that's it. You, uh, you got the contributing indicator is a number of new incident. Okay, contributing indicator is number of new incident. Okay, so that's it. Um, that's it, okay. So here, this is out of the box and let's see the difference between our, uh, um, um, our formula indicator and that formula indicator. Okay, show analytic hubs. Okay, so percentile of new critical incident, number of score, okay, daily is zero. Okay, percentile of a new critical incident is zero. So uh, we don't have any new critical incidents. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. We don't have any critical incidents or not. Okay, let's see. Incident. Incident. Um, all, all. So before uh, we see, uh, we verify our data. So go back. Uh, go back and we are using this uh, uh, indicator number of new incidents okay so we will see uh, what number of new incidents we are getting so what is the source we are using incidents new incident new incident new okay what is the open on today open on today okay so uh incident new i mean there is no state here this just opened on today okay just opened on today number of new incidents additional condition there is nothing there is nothing okay number of new incidents that's it okay new incidents okay so all the incident with respect to the state so but you have a critical incidents also okay we have critical incidents also 27 critical incidents but um sort z2a so you have three months ago data is z2a resolved it is resolved okay three months data also there but uh, we did not get the data because we have no um let's run the historic data collections again okay let's run the historical collections okay so temporary historical collection okay uh, temporary historical collection data for new incidents 
incidents. Okay, so let's um, uh, insert and stay. Insert and stay. So relative is um, uh, we will get months. Okay, like six months data we will collect. Okay, relative and okay till today. Okay, till today. Okay, days ago zero. Okay, and save it and save it. Okay, uh, indicators number of new incidents. Okay, select number of a uh, new incident. Number of uh, new incidents. Okay, number of new incidents. So in the list, um, uh, critical incidents. How many are there? Number of new incidents. Okay. Uh, opened. Opened. Um, That are after last six months. So you have 22 incidents, critical incidents. So we will see. Okay. So we will see. So now we execute this job. So once the job is run, so check the collecting data. It is collecting all the records or not. Okay. So if any errors, you will see here in the errors. Okay. So let's wait for some time to complete this. Uh, uh, it takes like one or two minutes to complete it. OK, so maybe it's more than uh, two or five minutes, maybe because we are running from last six months data. So yeah, we don't have much any much incidents data. This is out of the box in stamps. So maybe that's the reason. But um, if you are running on your customer instance, so you should run on the uh, uh, weekends only you should run on weekends because uh, there will be some performance issues. Okay, if you are running on daily. Okay, so yeah, you should be aware of that. Okay, because six months means you will have huge data in the customer environment. Okay, keep it in mind that. So it's collected. It's collected. So now we will go to uh, new incidents and show an article hub. Show an article hub. So you see today is zero uh, percent. On July 17, you have this much. Okay. So Okay, so I apply till December 24, apply. So you have daily today, okay? But um, if you apply on um, July 19, okay? If you apply on July 18, this is 100%, 100%. Okay, number of uh, new critical incident is zero percent. Okay, on uh, on July six it is okay. So you will not see compare and show records here in the data. Okay, so here you can see sixty seven percent page on uh, July six. Okay, so what is the formula we are using here? We are using number of new incidents critical one okay by number of new incidents okay into 100 into 100 okay so so you can see this is collected and six months ago opened okay uh, a to z so you can see seven months ago. Seven months means it's June or July. That's it. Okay. And three months ago. Three months ago is um, uh, one uh, one incident you have, but okay, one incident. You can see number of new incident data. 
Okay, show analytical hub. You can see three incidents, three number of new incidents is three here. Okay, so there are zero, 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 and number of new incident is one here. Okay, so if you select here one, okay, and in the July you have number of new incidents in July 13th, five. Or seven or seventeen. Okay, so you can see uh, September, October second, you have one incident, and uh, September fifteenth, you have fifteen incidents. Okay, show results, eight incidents. Okay, so fifteen. Okay, so if you see on uh, which day it is, uh, September fifteenth. Okay, so show analytical hub. on September 15th is 62 percentage. Okay, you can see September 15th is 62 percentage. Okay, today is zero percentage. Okay, so I'm, I don't know why this timeline is not showing properly here. Like, let's see the trend. Okay, trend and uh, see. Okay and the labels we can see tables see 62 percent on september 15th we have okay and uh, we have here 40 percent 67 percent hundreds percent okay so it will calculate so if you see by assignment group by service desk you have 100 percent there are no critical incidents maybe okay software is 60 percent hardware is 50 percent Okay, so if you see hardware incidents. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so this is our uh, new uh, indicator, but here, uh, here if I click on show and hub, okay, so show and hub, it will show. But the thing is here, you don't have any breakdowns because we did not configure any breakdowns for here. here. Okay, so you can configure breakdown here also, like incident dot priority or priority. Priority, if you click on incident priority, it is okay, save it. So you can uh, you can browse uh, you can uh, go show analytic hub. Okay, so now you can see priority here. Okay, planning critical how many. Okay, so our priority or assignment group, whatever it is, you can add it. You can add. Okay, so the other topic here is. Um, Okay, so here the breakdown will apply is normal. For example, uh, in the analytical hub, okay. So let me go to out of the box and hub, okay. And edit indicator. Okay, so I'm adding one more called category. Category. This is incident dot category, okay. And save it. And save it. Now in the show analytic hub, in the show analytical hub on the 15th of September. Okay, so you have 62%. Okay, 62%. So the category is uh, you have hardware is 100% and software is 60%, inquiry help is 50%. Okay, so if you go uh, incidents on uh, critical incident not created, okay, created, okay, on September 15th. Okay, so on September 15th, let's go on September 15th. Okay, so run it, run it and group by category. So this is one empty category you have, one critical incident. So uh, so that empty category is not reflecting here, okay? So leave it. 
and go to hardware. Hardware is one critical incident, okay? Uh, one open incident, okay? One incident, only one incident in hardware, okay? Uh, in hardware, so that's the reason 100% you have, okay? So it is calculating, okay, one by, it is calculating number of uh, critical incidents for this category is one number of all new incident for this category is one one by 100 so it is calculating like that it is not calculating like one by uh, one by eight so it is not calculating but inquiry help you see inquiry help one critical incident and one so one by two so that's the reason you have inquiry help for 50 percent okay and software, you see software, software is three and two critical incidents. So that's the reason you have an in you have 67%. Okay, so it should calculate by one by or uh, uh, something total new incident is something. Okay, so that how you need to calculate. So, so, so if I see okay so to calculate it okay so number of new incidents okay so this one should be replaced with with for example browse for indicator num new number of uh, number of new incidents breakdown is priority and element is critical okay so allow breakdowns we should not allow breakdowns you should uncheck it and select it okay so then it will replace with curly braces okay this particular indicator it should not follow breakdown on and save it and save it so you know if you see on september 15th right 62 percent Okay, so if you see by category, okay, hardware is 500%, network is 500%, and 167% it is. Okay, so you see the difference it will be, but um, uh, you have to allow formula competence to be null. Okay, so select uh, select this one and uh, save it because some incidents are not having a category. Okay, so that's the reason. That's the reason. On September 15th. And category so you see the categories is 167 percent 250 percent 500 percent network incidents are 500 percent and critical new incidents are 500 percent it is coming but it should not come like 500 percent okay so it should be edit a uh, indicator edit indicator okay edit indicator and number of uh, new incidents number of new incidents allow breakdowns select okay and save it so on september 15th you see now two breakdowns are, are not available because they do not apply to one or more contributing indicators okay so let's see edit indicator okay so that's the error okay so Number of new incidents, priority, one critical, and select and save it.
on September 15th, you see now it is software 25%, inquiry 12%, okay, hardware 12%, network 0%. Now you see the difference between the breakdowns, okay? So that is like, uh, this is 62%, you have 62%. September 15th, okay. But if I uh, if I go to formula indicators again, again formula indicators, and the one which we opened, which we created, okay. Uh, loop, okay. So let's add the let's add the category, okay. Let's remove the priority one and category. Add the category and save it show show analytic hub okay on the 15th of september so you see the difference is 62.50 okay overall difference is same overall it is same okay overall it is same but the thing is if you select the category is different okay the category will be different. So that you need to decide which your customer, like how you want to divide this thing and use the correct methods in the, uh, use the correct methods in the formula indicator, whether you want to apply breakdowns individually or overall. Okay, in that way you need to decide which one you need to use, but, but both are correct. Both are correct, but the thing is which one you have to apply. So you need to decide with your customer and explain them like which one we need to use or something like that. Okay. And also uh, now if you see in analytics hub, okay, so you have time series. Okay, some of the things are default time series, it will be applied. Okay, apply time series to result. This is also the same thing. So, uh, if you uh, if you have any default time series, like for example, seven days running, okay, running average, seven days running average, and save it, save it. So now you can see seven days running average, last seven days, okay. On September fifteenth, you see sixty-two percent. This is daily, okay, daily, and seven days running average, you see here, is different, 62%, because seven days you don't have any tickets, okay? So if you see here, the difference, it will be calculated 50%, and the daily, if you calculate, no score, okay? So you see that this is time series. You can apply a time series for your, uh, uh, it will calculate seven days of percentage of lost seven days of percentage, okay? Applying, okay? So when you edit indicator, okay? So it will automatically apply time series result, okay? To your uh, date, okay? If not, um, it will not apply, it will show you directly and uh, default, okay? So like that. Hello formula comprehends to be null, okay? Uh, for example, some of the number of open incidents is zero or null. Then you should calculate as minus one or something, okay? You can add it in formula indicator, okay? So that's how, okay? So this is about percentile of a new critical incident. The same thing, you have different, different out of the box formula indicators. Okay, if you go, if you leave it, okay, and you can see uh, percentage of open incidents, reassign at last one, okay, uh, percentage of resolved incidents without reassignment, okay, incident backlog, backlog growth. Okay, for example, if I open this one, you see number of new incident minus number of resolved incidents. So how many? Just a formula indicator you can apply. Okay, so this is a uh, incident backlog, uh, backlog growth. Okay, so like that you can apply, uh, you can uh, create a, a new formula indicators, whatever you want. Okay, using the existing indicators, but for formula indicator, you will not have any, um, uh, any uh, uh, 
compare button here. You can see the compare button. You don't see anything here. Okay, so like that. That's it. Okay, thank you. Please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos. Hope you will enjoy online service now. Thank you very much for your time.